we have other questions. If not, I will now introduce Dr. Natarajan, who will be talking on the genetics of retinal dystrophies and diabetic retinopathy. Perfect timing. Thank you, Gerald. And uh, Jerry had his birthday yesterday, and we did a cake cutting. And he also makes good cakes, right, Jerry? Excuse me? You also make good cake. <laughs> no? You got it right. And he's a fantastic dancer. These are skills. I've known him for decades. He keeps coming up with new things. Fantastic dancer and dresser. Thank you, Jerry. And I think if you he has brought on, oh, he's here. So you've got a resident from, you're from USC, right? Yeah, Welcome. So uh, my talk is on genetics of uh, uh, retinal dystrophies and diabetic retinopathy, and I have no financial interest uh, or to disclose. So genomics and the eye. The eye had a pivotal role in the evolution of human genomics. At least 90% of the genes in the human genome are expressed in one or more of the eyes, many tissues and cell types at some point during a person's life. And uh, this has also been ma ma this is published in uh, this review article, but it's also been mentioned in the uh, uh, Sotheby's book, where, which uh, he calls ophthalmology is a playground of genetics, which I read in uh, 80s when I was a postgraduate. And I think still I remember that time, I, my father was a professor there, and he said 50% of the Parsons, they really you can't do anything. And I'm glad uh, the rest of the 50% only we are working on now. And whatever we thought could not be done, I think the, one of the examples is the macular dystrophy, which is characterized by a progressive central visual loss and degeneration of the macula and underlying retinal pigment epithelium of the eye. So it's a, and then the other is the autosomal recessive, Stargardt's disease, and fundus flavi maculatus. So Stargardt's dystrophy is the most common hereditary macular dystrophy and accounts for 7% of all retinal dystrophies. Unfortunately, we have one of the largest uh, group of patients in the world and we actually applied for a, a research grant from Medical Research Council UK uh, for almost 21 crore along with the Queen's University for a, with a new drug uh, a treatment uh, for a Stargardt's, but anyway, we didn't get it. But still, a lot of work is going on. Typically, patients present with decreased central vision, usually in the first or second decade of life, mm -hmm. characterized by bilateral atrophic changes in the macula, degeneration of the underlying retinal pigment epithelium, and the presence of prominent yellow white flecks in posterior pole. The locus of the star guards was mapped to gene ABCA4 on chromosome 1P, and ABCA4 is involved in ATP-dependent transport of retinoids from photoreceptor to retinal pigment epithelium. Failure of this transport results in deposition of major liposuchus and fluorophore in the RP secondary photoreceptor de degeneration. And uh, the two chromosomal loci have been identified, and uh, the other is the best uh, disease, the vitelliform macular dystrophy. Patients are found to have bilateral macular lesions at a very young age. Typical fundus finding including a yellow egg yolk like appearance of the macula. And incidentally, today there is a program by the National Eye Institute organized by John Prakash, the patron of the Global Eye Genetic Consortium, along with Takeshi Iwata, the president of the Global Eye Genetic Consortium, and myself. We have a program in the US, which is, uh, I think, 6.30 p.m. India time and 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. So the, it's on a genetics again. Typical fundus findings, including a yellow egg yolk-like appearance of the macula. So VMD2 gene on chromosome 11Q is responsible for maintaining chloride conductance across the RPE. Its defect leads to accumulation of fluid and or debris de uh, leading to detachment and secondary photoreceptor degeneration. See, the other uh, disorders are uh, adult vitelliform macular dystrophy, pattern dystrophy, Doyen honeycomb retinal dystrophy, malacia, Levantinus, autosomal dominant drusen, autosomal and macular degeneration, North Carolina macular dystrophy, progressive bifocal choroidal atrophy, Sorsby fundus dystrophy, central areolar choroidal dystrophy, and dominant cystoid macular dystrophy. And all these, I think, are required because uh, may, uh, we are in the time of doing the phenotype and the genotype. And I think uh, the problem is uh, even phenotype, many people, patients, at least in India, don't want to get the ERG or any of the, even the genetic testing because if see, there's no treatment. But I think uh, we have to create awareness 
and this is a X-linked uh, juvenile retinal sclerosis. The XLRS is a vitreoretinal degeneration which presents either in an infant with nystagmus or more commonly in childhood with mild loss of central vision. The characteristic fundus abnormality is a cystic spoke wheel like maclopathy in virtually all affected males. Prognosis is good in most affected males as long as retinal detachment or vitreous hemorrhage does not occur. It has been linked to XLRS1, also recently referred to as RS1, XP22. It's implicated in cell-to-cell -cell addition and cell-to-matrix interaction, which correlate well with the observed splitting of the retina in the XLRS. And there's a clinical trial going on in the NEI for the even retinoscrisis by the former director who's now moved to UC Davis. The, this uh, mitochondrial inheritance, uh, maternal inherited diabetes and deafness, this mitochondrial DNA mutation may be associated with a severe encephalopathy with death at a young age. Macular pattern dystrophy has been found in association with the MIDD. As the prevalence of MPD in MIDD is high, the association of MPD with diabetes should raise the possibility of screening for a mutation of mitochondrial uh, inherited uh, problem. So this is a picture from the, the genetics of the inherited macular dystrophies. And uh, the diabetic retinopathy, we have a major burden, but uh, still the uh, genetics is complex and the potential candidate genes include the, the various uh, uh, list which is mentioned and uh, uh, a lot of work is uh, being done. Okay. And this is the work done by Shankaranetla group by Rajiv Raman and Professor Kumar Manikwel and Uttra. And uh, here in the aldose reductase, chromosome 7Q35, it has been strongly implicated in the pathogenesis of microaneurysms and degeneration of retinal pericytes. Z2 is a high-risk allele for diabetic retinopathy, especially proliferative diabetic retinopathy and maclopathy in Indian patients. Again, the work done by Professor Kumar Manikwell. The vascular endothelial growth factor, chromosome 6P12, high vitreous levels have been repeatedly detected in eyes of patients of proliferative diabetic retinopathy and diabetic macular edema. VEGF inhibition has been shown to ameliorate retinal changes, including retinal vascularization and breakdown of the blood retinal barrier. The angiotensin converting enzyme, a recent independent metallysis, suggested that ACEID, that the insertion deletion, may be associated with proliferative diabetic retinopathy under a dominant genetic model, assuming either fixed or random effects. Autoantibodies to glutamic acid decarboxylase show an inverse relationship with the retinopathy. The protective mutations in the Asian Indian population, aldose reductase ALR2 alleles 200 and 220 BP protect from developing retinopathy. That's what is a big problem because they are the people who if you don't identify, they say we don't control diabetes, but still we don't have retinopathy. So I think people don't understand the genetics in diabetic retinopathy. The SCR82 allele in the receptor for AGE, the RAD, gene is a low risk allele for developing diabetic retinopathy in Asian Indian patients who have type 2 diabetes. The other uh, uh, retinal degeneration, the retinitis pigmentosa, it can be inherited in an autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive or X-linked manner. So the patients uh, with RP are many times in depression because they don't understand. Sometimes they, they are uh, only one, one person, the whole family having it and some and other will, will be in an autosomal dominant or recessive. So you have the uh, liver uh, congenital amaurosis, autosomal dominant, and autosomal recessive, and you have autosomal, so this is the number of uh, identified genes, and I think there are about 200 genes which are associated with the RP. And DNA testing is available on a clinical basis for uh, RP. And the, the main thing is uh, the, the discovery that ABCA4 is involved in transporting vitamin A derivatives out of uh, outer segment disc led to the discovery that vitamin A inhibitors such as fenretinide inhibit the accumulation of lipofusin in animal models of Stargardt's disease. The fenretinide is not available easily and that's the trial which we wanted to do, but uh, it was a huge amount so we couldn't do that. And the identification of the role of VEGF and CNUM led to the development of therapeutic antibodies to combat the major blinding complication of AMD. And growth factors and neuroprotective agents have also been used to reduce the rate of an apoptic response to inherited cellular abnormalities. In recent years, gene replacement therapy, 
therapeutic stem cells and rational processes have also moved to the threshold of clinical use for the treatment of genetic eye disease. And uh, the mechanism of gene transfer, either through the adenovirus vectors, adeno-associated virus vectors, herpes sinkless virus vectors, RNA virus vectors, physical chemical gene transfer, the lipoaffection, and others. And these are the lipid-mediated uh, gene, gene transfer. And therapeutic approaches uh, is uh, you have the ribosome therapy, antisense therapy, suicide gene therapy, growth factor therapy, gene replacement therapy. So I wanted to say that in RP, if you have a RP65 mutation, we have the Luxturna. I don't have any financial interest, but unfortunately, it costs uh, six crores for an eye. And but the, the, the clinical trials are going on, and it's an FDA-approved uh, gene therapy. And there are several uh, uh, things are in the pipeline, and I think it's RO. We had several newer genetic, uh, and unfortunately, most of it is going to come to vitreoretinal surgeons because we have to inject the gene vector into the subretinal space near the macula. And there is a new development where robot has been developed in uh, uh, Ghent, Belgium, and in Switzerland by Dr. Mark D. Smet, where we can inject, because the problem is to inject uh, in the subretinal space without uh, getting the uh, genes out of the subretinal space. So there's a, I'm actually, it's being done in Belgium, and hope uh, that uh, it'll, uh, it'll become a standard. You know, I know it's going to be expensive, but still it'll be with the vitreoretinal surgeon's uh, armamentarium. And it has to help refine diagnosis, disease classification, prognosis, and improved genetic counseling, which is still growing in India. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Natrashan. If you have any questions, please ask them now for Dr. Natrashan. Please go ahead. Um, thank you. Uh, just curious, um, when you were talking about the mitochondrial induced diabetes, you know, for Indians, you said surprisingly they don't have retinopathies. No, no, no. Only oh, one group. Only one if group. If they have that uh, gene, okay. it's a protective. We still okay. don't know. A lot of work has been, the numbers are small. Okay. Because genetic testing is uh, expensive and we are, it's like uh, 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 chasing the genes in an ocean and we don't okay. know what the, which one is protective still. Yeah, even now, that, that, we are writing an RO1 grant for uh, the okay. US with the. That's for not even the question. I just want to link it to glaucoma because I'm in glaucoma. And you know, in, as part of the glaucoma pathogenesis, you talk about the nitric oxide. Um, Nitric oxide synthase, anomaly, the, um, the other things, the TNF, you know, having the genes mutation. And you also know that there's a controversy as to whether diabetes leads to a worsening of glaucoma or even development of glaucoma, the association. You know, there's a controversy. So my question is, is well, it? Uh, we'll be talking about glaucoma later, uh, the presentation on glaucoma. Okay. So I can leave the question until then. Yeah. Okay. Because we have to move on. So, All right. so there are two parts. One is the inherit. I'm just answering. Inherited retinal degeneration, we can find the specific gene. And diseases like glaucoma and uh, diabetes, it's like a massive. So a lot of research is going on. There's a huge grant, 11 million grant, to Shai Zai Institute in, uh, in the uh, uh, UPenn, where uh, they're working on uh, the glaucoma, and particularly African-American.